Hi, my YouTube family. Well, I'm sorry I didn't make a lot of videos here of late, but I've been very busy making the um, Santa sleighs. And I showed y'all the ones I had made yesterday, sold all those today. And I was in the kitchen cooking, so I'm a little messy. Oh, well. And um, it rained today, but I went out in the rain this morning. It was just drizzling this morning, but it rained tonight. And I went and sold all those Santa sleighs. And uh, then I had to go buy more candy to make more sleighs. I worked my hot glue gun so much, it broke. Mm-hmm. It broke. That's what I get. I wasted $3.97 on that gun, and it broke. Whew. But I got my, my money's worth out of that gun. <laughs> so I had to run to Michael's and get me another hot glue gun. I got a better one this time, and I used the 40% uh, off coupon and some hot glue sticks, but look my finger. And that's not from the glue burning me. That's from like pressing that knobble. Yep. I'm telling you, I'm working my fingers to the bone. So anyway, the only thing I managed to get done that I love doing was I made some tags. And I just want to show y'all. Look how cute. It says, um, what does it say? Merry Christmas. North Pole, and then they have the gingerbread man down, house down there, and Santa. It looks like he's walking down the walkway. He's leaving the house, and um, the trees, and then I put the elf up there with the uh, hot cocoa cup, and um, the stockings up there, and it says North Pole, so we can pretend like that's like the elf's house or Santa's house or something. Anyway, so I made this tag. And then I made this tag, and it's Santa holding some presents, and it says, Merry Christmas to you. Ho, ho, ho. And I used it for my scrap paper. I used my circle punch, and I just layered them all on here, all my scrap papers. And then I put the stickers on them. So that's the two crafty things I've done. Made these two tags. I like both of them. I don't know which one's my favorite. I just like both of them. Didn't make no more paper clips yet, guys. Sure didn't. But I did want to come on here today. And um, I was thinking about this song when I was cooking chicken spaghetti. But y'all don't tell Hunter. It's really turkey and cheese chicken spaghetti. But no chicken in it. So it's turkey and cheese spaghetti. He wanted me to cook some chicken and cheese spaghetti, but I was out of, I didn't defrost no chicken, but I had turkey left over from Thanksgiving. Chop that up. He didn't even notice, guys. <laughs> it's great being a mom sometimes. And then my daughter called, said she was hungry, so she brought three plates, one for the baby, one for her, and one for Jared. And um, she come filled... I made a big pot, and now there's only like two bowls left. She just come and got them and left. So, yeah, after I was cooking, I was thinking this song kept coming to me. Hold y'all ears, guys. Here it comes. I'm gonna have a little talk with Jesus. Gonna tell him all about my troubles. Gonna, he's gonna answer by and by. That's all I remember. But it just kept coming to my mind, coming to my mind. So then I opened my Sarah Young book. And put my tag in my spot. So I want to do some sharing with y'all. Because I believe sharing is caring. And caring and sharing the word of God can't hurt anyone. So let's just read right here. It says, a cheerful heart is good medicine. You have every reason to be cheerful because I have overcome the world. I have conquered it and deprived it of power to harm you through my victory on the cross. Moreover, nothing you ever encounter along your life path will be able to separate you from my love. And that's Jesus telling us nothing can separate us from his love. 
As you ponder those glorious truths about all I have done for you, let good cheer fill your heart and radiate you for radiate let good cheer fill your heart and radiate from your face. Let God's good cheer come from your heart and radiate all over your face. A joyful heart will improve your health spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Oh, I need to improve my health. <laughs> emotionally, yes. Christmas time can be the most stressful time and physically stressful. And a lot of people get so depressed during Christmas time. So fill your mind with thankful thoughts till your heart overflows with joy. Take time to praise me for all that I am, the one from whom all blessings flow. Let me fill you with my light and life, for I design you to be full of heavenly contents. As these divine nutrients soak into the depths of your being, they strengthen you and enhance your health. Be of good cheer. In Proverbs 17, 22, it says, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence. In the world you have tribulations and trials and distress and frustrations. But be of good cheer, take courage, be confident, certain, and undaunted. For I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. And this is John 16, 33. Neither height nor death nor anything else in all creations will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 39. So guys, I know this can be a stressful time of the year. I know it can be a depressing time of the year for some. You feel like you might not have enough of money for everything the kids want. You might not have enough of money to buy your loved one gifts. But you know, guys, Christmas isn't just about what you can buy. You can make something for someone, and they will love it just as much as if you spent $1,000 on them. I mean, my daughter, she sews, and she makes beautiful things. She doesn't have to spend money on me. Matter of fact, I'd probably like something more that she made because she put her love, her time in it. When someone gives me something, anybody can run to the store and buy me something. Really. But when someone puts their time and their energy into making me something, I appreciate it so much. I'm going to tell you, um, Tina Massey from Happy Mail from the Heart, she made me cry today, and I'm going to cry again. She put up a video, because y'all know I was singing... You know, Frosty the Snowman, and let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I want it to snow. It probably won't snow here in Louisiana, but I so badly want it to snow. And Hunter loves snow, and you know, but what she did just really touched my heart because it didn't cost her any money what she did. It's snowing where she lives in Minnesota. So she took her time, went out in the cold snow, and she videotaped it for me. And she even wrote my name on her car. Guys, to me, that was the best Christmas gift Tina could have gave me. Because she thought of me, and she knew something that I really wanted. And she wanted to get me to that as close as she could. So she videotaped it. Y'all go check out her channel and y'all can see the video. It's Happy Mail of the Heart. And her name's Tina Massey. And she has my name on it for Sarah Robertson. And she just videotaped it all. And, you know, that is special. You can't buy that. She heard me say how much I wanted to snow. She thought about it. She went out and she <clears throat> took her own time 
to go out and make that video. It really touched my heart and I keep watching it over and over because <laughs> I want it to snow so bad here, but that video is beautiful. I'm gonna have to show it to Hunter Man. Um, it is just pretty. And then my husband called me and said, oh, we got snow in Iowa. And I was like, and I could have sat around the house and been sad and not did anything and, you know, really pouted. Boudé, that's what we say, us Cajuns. I could have been Boudé and uh, just pouted all day. And But I watched Tina's video and it made me so happy. I was excited it snowed. So... We need to try to keep a cheerful mind, a cheerful heart, even when things are hard, when things don't seem like things are working out. Um, you know, just make things work. You know, I mean, be happy for what God has given you. And um, so, yeah, guys, I hope this touches someone today. And if my prayer warriors would join in prayer with me right now, I would appreciate it. And hunter's going in my bathroom to take a bath so please forgive the water okay so if y'all bow y'all heads with me we're going to pray today heavenly father i'm coming to you today in prayer lord i want to thank you for everything you've given me and you've given my family i want to thank you lord for everything you've done for me and my family lord i want to thank you for my husband and all the hard work he does to provide for his family i want to thank you for my children lord Lord, I want to bring up a couple of friends that need prayer here on YouTube. Lord, they're going through a very physically trying time right now, emotional time, with a lot of pain in their body, Lord God, and it's causing a lot of depression in their mind. Lord, we know depression is not from you. And Lord, right now I pray, and my YouTube friend knows who she is, Lord, I pray right now, God, that you would just touch her from the top of her head, Lord God, to the bottom of her toes. Lord, let your healing power flow through her body, Lord God. Lord, I pray that that pain that's overtaken her body, that you can just release her right now in Jesus' name from that pain. Lord, we know you are the master, and Lord God, you are the ruler of this earth. Satan has no dominion over your children. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you would heal her right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you would let her be a testimony to you on her channel, that your healing grace, Lord God, healed her, and that she can go out and testify to people and let them know, Lord God, that miracles still happen today. Lord, that depression, God, we know that is not from you. And Satan, we're going to rebuke that right now in Jesus' name. You cannot touch God's child. That is God's child. You have no dominion over her. You have to go now in Jesus' name. We're going to believe in this healing. We're going to stand on faith in this healing. And we're going to praise you and thank you, Lord God, for this healing. Lord, I pray if there's any YouTube person out there, friend, family, anyone out there that needs help, Lord God, that needs you, Lord God, that you can let them know, Lord God, that you are there for them. Let them come across someone, Lord, that can lay hands on them, pray with them. Jesus your Bible says where two or three are gathered in your name, you are right there amongst them. And Lord, I want to pray for the salvation of all of those who are seeking you, Lord God, that are lost and need you in their life. And in Jesus' name, I want to give you all the thanks and glory. Amen. Thank you guys for praying with me. It's that time. Wrap your arms around yourself. Squeeze real tight. I'm giving you a hug. A big hug. And if no one's told you today, I'm going to tell you. I love you. You are beautiful. You are special. And God loves you too. Bye, guys. I'm going to try to put up some more videos. I'm still trying to sell all that stuff. And try to help my daughter out here. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Love you.